I imagine it's something that you guys have been pushing for for a while to have the NCAAs. Yeah, we had a vision for having a long-term partner with the partnership with the NCAA for a very long time, and um, when the NCAA group came out for the last, but in 2010, we talked about it. We talked about it again last year and tried to put the pieces together with Mark Lewis, Joni Comstock, and Jeff Charnike. And Rob Mullins and I kind of got together and tried to figure out what would make the most sense for a long-term partnership. And, um, you know, it's, it's the right thing to do for the sport of track and field. So now that you know that it's official, how excited are you that it's going to be here for the next eight years? I'm really excited about it because I think what it does is it, um, our goal now is to really put some real muscle into this and make the NCAA uh, track meet the hottest ticket in town. What has really been great has been the partnership with this community, track and field, and this whole track town community has had a, this partnership for 50 or 60 years. And uh, this is just a, a manifestation of that, of that partnership, and it's a validation that, uh, that this is a great experience for all the student athletes from all the institutions. And, and although we're excited at the University of Oregon to host it, and I'm sure our coaching staff is thrilled for it, but most importantly, is it's the right thing to do for all our student athletes. You, you talked about the community here. And Eugene Tracktown, is, they're no stranger to hosting big events, but how big a shot in the arm is it for just the community as a whole coming together to help local businesses and, and things of that nature? It's always, we've had a, we've really had a great partnership with the city of Springfield, the city of Eugene, uh, Travel Lane County, the Chamber of, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, um, they've all been great, and they have actually partnered with us on many other things. So all the hotels and the restaurants have gotten on board and have done, gone out of the way, really, to be great hosts. And I think that it's not just about, you know, are there, you know, the right number of hotel rooms and all those little things, but what they are is I think they walk the extra, they take the extra step to be able to create an environment for the student athletes that are here to have a great experience. You talked about it being the right thing to do for the student athletes. Now, from another sports perspective, baseball, those student athletes, they dream of getting to go to Omaha every year, College World Series. Do you envision that being a goal for the NCAAs in track town, maybe just for, for Hayward Field to be the site that you know young student athletes dream of coming every year for the NCAAs? Well, I think what happens is the NCAA does conduct a, a survey at the end of each championships for all their sports and what they found number one was that the experience that the student athletes have in the relationship with the fans the packed houses those are all things that are really important and enhance their student athlete experience so hopefully what happens now I think it already happens I think kids really um, really dream about being competing at a full place a full house and I've not seen and I've been going to a lot of division one NCAA championships for 30 plus years, and I've not seen anything quite the same as it is at Hayward. And everyone, they, anyone who hosts it does a good job. And, um, <clears throat> but at Hayward Field, it's kind of a, a step above, and I think that our, all the, the loyal fans of the sport of track and field, and those have been, you know, a guy like Jim Jaqua has been coming to track meets for 50 years. Um, I think he's representative of what our community believes in the sport, and um, I think it'll be a great experience for the kids. Now, uh, eight years, obviously, it's a long way off, it's 2021, but is that something you revisit every year, trying to push it a little more, or is that something you will wait to do or to try to do? The end game clearly is that we create a, uh, a home for the sport of track and field, just, just the same as Omaha is. For baseball and I don't think that I think that every one of those things has started with hey we have to do our part I mean there's a partnership that and we have to deliver on our end and that is to make this an unprecedented opportunity and an unprecedented experience for the student athletes of all the institutions and that will re be where our attention is focused we're not going to worry so much about uh, is it a permanent home is it five years or is it eight years but whatever years it's going to be this allows us an opportunity to invest and uh, make it every year a little bit better so that you know as i said we expect to hope make this into the hottest ticket last one for me you mentioned that hayward field experience is just a step above everybody does a good job at hayward field it's just that much better do you notice when ncaa's are, are here at historic hayward field that there's just a, a 
different buzz about the community? Oh, for sure. I think that uh, whether it's the pre-classic or the Olympic trials or our partnership with USA Track and Field for the IAAF championships for the juniors, I think it's all about is something special that happens. You know, people look at, uh, you know, when they want to revisit things like, uh, you know, the real f baseball enthusiasts, they want to go to Cooperstown. Uh, if they want to really look at uh, great uh, experience and go to Wrigley, Wrigley Field or, or Fenway Park or Yankee Stadium. And I think that those are the kinds of environment, that's the kind of comparisons we like to have for the sport of track and field. And this is the right thing for the sport. This, if we can grow the sport of track and field, and I believe it can be grown. I believe the track and field is a great spectator event in a great environment. And we just need to be able to create the great environment of the sport.